Hi, I'm Isaac from Raycom, and today I'm joined by my colleague Andy, and we're going to take a look at the other transmission options available for the Fernac Roger system. Okay, so uh, on the rack here we've got uh, three options of, uh, of, of transmitter actually, there's a, a pair of the one at the back, but we're going to start with the, the, the touch screen. Now, uh, very, very similar sort of functionality to the, to the Roger base station, it, it has an audio input and provides uh, a, a transmission out to the earpiece. Big difference here obviously, much smaller, movable, uh, autonomous unit battery powered. So charging is through its own charger or you can pop it into the little charging rack that we've got here. Nice little product that Phonak make. So what's its purpose? Um, first of all, as I say, it's something you can walk around with, that you can, you can move with it. So one of the ways of using this, you can hang it on a lanyard around your neck and there are microphones on top of the unit and you can just walk around hands free uh, quite easily talking to the talent or the presenter, doing some prompting or, uh, you know, maybe some advice, you know, probably not the best thing to say, Mr. President, or, you know, whatever you, uh, <laughs> whatever you might be getting involved in. Um, the other way of doing it is you can pop it on a desk so a number of people can get involved yeah. in, 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 in inputting and, and all getting their voices heard. Yeah. Now, what kind of control over the earpieces do we have from here? Yeah, this is the key thing. This is the other function, and it's probably the main reason why people buy the buy the touchscreen. Um, with this unit, you can act, it acts like a little remote control for the Roger earpiece. Yeah. Um, you have to get fairly close to it. You know, you're getting up at this kind of distance yeah. to control an earpiece, so it knows which one it's talking to. But uh, once the earpiece is registered into this unit you can alter the, most importantly, the volume. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of talent that uh, really like a very loud Roger earpiece in their ears, and others are saying, oh wow, it's too loud. Your, your level input is gonna be pretty much the same, either it's your voice, yeah. or if you're using a base station, you know, you've got the, the uh, you, you can use both of these transmitters at the same time, which is an interesting point, we'll just yeah. come back to that in a minute. But, um, you, you might have a level set on the base station and for some people it's a little bit too loud so actually live on set, you know, not live on set, but on set you can go and turn down the Roger earpiece using this, we'll now call it a remote control, but it's, yeah. it, it's the transmitter. So if you wanted to sort of change the volume of two earpieces connected to the same base station? Absolutely, you yeah. yeah. You've got a single, single level going into the base station but you can independently yeah. set the volume on, on the units here. Now, um, you know, we talked about you can you can use the two transmitters at the same time, the base station and and the touch screen. Um, how that how does that work together? Um, if the base station is giving a transmission, yeah, it will always override. It'll pick the base station first. The touch screen. Yeah. The touch screen. You know, if the base station goes quiet in an interval in feed or something like that, so you know you, you might be shooting a piece. The base station's putting out its its back feed or you know its IFB, and you're listening to that, and then it finishes, and everybody's you know the filming stopped. You've got a chance for a chat. Yeah. You can immediately, yeah. and with actually out without approaching uh, the the presenter or the talent or getting involved in the set, you can have a quick chat to them then through the through yeah. the touch screen. It's something maybe somebody else on set could use as well, as apart from maybe the director or someone like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. you know they're, they're additional, and you can have a number of touch screens all working in the same area. You know they will they will then contend con contest the, uh, the the transmission opportunity. Uh, it'll be the person who's talking that that, yeah. that gets through. Yeah. You know. Another key feature I think is is you can name them as well, can't you? The earpieces. Uh, yeah, I mean you have the opportunity because you know I'll just show you on the on the unit here. You you know you have got a nice little screen on the front here that you can flick through various functions. I've just switched the mute button on there. So, you know, if you if you want to make sure that you're not being overheard, you can hit the mute button on the yeah. front and you get a little red light there to say that you're not putting any transmission through. But there's lots of other functionality within the, within the unit. Um, let's touch him on there. So you can, this is where you control the connections to the unit, but then you've got the settings there one of those settings is that you can name the earpieces. Yeah. Now that, that's quite useful if uh, you've got suddenly you've got an array of earpieces that have come back from yeah. from out of people's ears and you're thinking whose is whose, you can go close to them and you can list yeah. devices there and it'll give you a list of devices and it'll tell you which one you're connecting to at that moment. So yeah, yeah it can be used for ID purposes as well. 
Brilliant. Um, yeah, so that's the uh, that's the touchscreen. Um, standard 3.5 input audio input on the bottom. Um, USB or my um, USB C there for for charging. Um, and there we go. That's the simple as that. Nice and pocket sized. That is the the touchscreen. Brilliant. Well, so what's next? Yeah, so the next transmitter that we're going to look at is, uh, is this one here. This is the Multimedia Hub. Um, quite a plain looking unit, um, but very, very useful. Uh, three, uh, two and a half, uh, three and a half uh, audio feed, uh, jack audio feed as, as, as most of the, the Roger units. Uh, battery powered again, 10 to 12 hours battery life, independent charger or charging back in the rack as, as we've seen before. So what do you use this for? Very simple, first of all, uh, connecting uh, an earpiece to it. You press the button on the front, hold the earpiece there, you get a green light, that's it. You're now connected, this is now connected to that earpiece, yeah. as simple as that. But there's uh, there's no input, so there's only that, that audio input, so it's not like the touch screen, there's no microphones in this. Yeah. Where you use this is to bring in an audio feed from from virtually anything, but uh, the key thing is is an IEM pack. So. You've got your IEM pack, plug that in there. Output from the IEM pack is then coming into the Roger transmitter and out to the earpiece. The beauty of this is that you can then use the great benefits of uh, UHF range associated with an IEM pack, yeah. which we know, you know is going to be much more in excess of what you'll normally get with a 2.4 gig range of, yeah. a, of a Roger system. So you can, you can, you can have the the feed a long, long away from the uh, from the the audio source. Yeah. Well, this this becomes the audio source, of course. So where would you use this? Um, if you've got talent, particularly maybe outside where 2.4 gig struggles. Yeah. You can get a nice UHF. Yeah. Radio feed across there. The talent has to wear both packs, of course, but then with the with the pack in their pocket or in their in their belt, it's then transmitting up to the Roger earpiece. So. For on-screen purposes, you've got the, yeah. the unseen Roger earpiece. Well, you get the, you get the range of RF with the discreteness of the earpiece. Absolutely. Now, that doesn't actually have to stay with the talent, this, this combination of units. You know, you could be placing these up on a shelf, and then everybody in the room can be then getting their Roger yeah. feed from the combination of the multimedia hub and an IEM pack. And that is predominant in the way that people, people yeah. use these. And you still get the same range between the hub and the earpiece as you would the base station? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, it's a similar range, uh, you know, 30 to 40 meters yeah. in, in a studio environment. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. So quite a simple little product, but very, very handy. Yeah. Superb. Brilliant. So the, the last of the transmitters that we're going to talk about today, well, in fact, uh, the last of the transmitters in the, in the Roger range um, is this unit here, which is the Roger repeater. Now, it's a transmitter, it's also, of course, uh, a receiver. Yeah. The idea of this is that it receives a signal from any of the other Roger transmitters and pushes it out again at a similar range than, you re than it was achieving from the original yeah. signal. So it's just a way of pushing that range out further and further and further again. You know, we've talked about the range in the previous videos um, using an IEM pack. Yeah. But if you've not got an IM pack or you don't want to bring one on or you know the talent doesn't want to wear it, this is a great way of achieving additional range in the Roger system. Yeah. So uh, actually uh, you can use as many of these as you want. You know, so you move from one to the second one and the third one and the fourth one. It'll keep on just daisy chaining and hopping and pushing the signal forwards yeah. um, to an unlimited number in, in theory. Yeah. Um, there is obviously a degree of latency as yeah. each movement is made. It's very small um, and certainly up to four or five repeaters, you're not going to get any problems with, with any noticeable problems with latencies. It's a few milliseconds between, yeah. between each one. I mean, before it, the latency would really become an issue, you may consider using a hub instead. Is that right? Uh, yeah, I mean, you, if you were looking at that kind of distance that you were trying to achieve, I think then you'd be looking to move across to a multimedia hub. Uh, and, and using the, the distance of the IEM. And can the repeaters be used with all of the transmitter options? Yes, yep, yep. Uh, it, you know, they, it becomes, as with the, all the, the Roger products, you, you kind of create a network of products. Yeah. So in the way that you can use base stations with the, the multimedia hub or with the touch screen, you can bring repeaters in there as yeah. well. As long as they're all on the same network, the functionality will, 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 will carry on. Yeah. 
There's we, um, sorry. So we're going to look at doing a separate video to sort of demonstrate how to use the repeaters because they can be daisy chained as well. Obviously, we may want to go through that. So yeah, that I mean, we, we can show the kind of range that you'll achieve with the repeater. Yeah. Uh, and it's going to be good to do that. Yeah. Um, also, they're, they're quite clever yeah. in that this, uh, this nice big LED on the front, I've got this one switched off here. But uh, this nice big clear LED on the front, you can see it's moved from green to blue there and it has flashing green and flashing blue. Yeah. It gives you various different lights and it can get a little bit confusing about you know, what they're meant to be doing. But it's a really nice function. What this unit will do, it'll tell you when it's being useful. Yeah. So first of all, you, you get a blue light on here and it says, you know, you, you've got a connection there, you're seeing a Roger transmitter. Yeah. But it's saying, okay, I can see it, I'm within range, but I'm not really earning my money. It's not doing you know, I'm not. I'm not really doing a great job because you could get the transmission from that transmitter anyway. Yeah. So as you walk away, the LEDs will change colour yeah. and show you that you've reached the optimum point of being able to use, you know, to be able to get some really good functionality yeah. from the repeater. And then when you go from another repeater to another, you know, from one repeater to yeah. another, same functionality again, it's seeing the transmission from, from the first repeater. It'll, as you move away, it'll suddenly go green. You know that you've got, you know, a really useful positioning of that, of that repeater. Are there any points to consider when placing the repeaters? Uh, it's exactly the same as with any of the transmitters really you know the higher up you yeah. know above head height is a, is a great place to put them you know there's going to be times where it's not practical you know with the multimedia hub if it's sitting on somebody's belt you know yeah. it, it's not going to be up high yeah but it's, um, it's still something maybe to consider if you can yes yeah. and, and talking about placing the uh, placing the unit around the, the presenter um, this is something this is another way that people use repeaters um, because the uh, the, the transmission range on a repeater from a base station to a repeater is possibly going to be a little bit longer than you can normally get between uh, a base station and directly to the earpiece. Yeah. And bearing in mind, of course, that you, you know, you're moving further away, that's the reason why you're using a repeater. Um, we found that the, 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 the repeater can get further away than just an earpiece. Yeah. So there's a way that some people use them. They will actually pop one of those in the pocket of the talent so the, 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 the transmission is coming to the repeater and then the repeater is just doing the short and distance kind of, if the, if up the to the earpiece. Moves, yeah. We saw in our, in our range test that obviously your head kind of impacts the signal quite a lot. So it sort of gives you a... It takes seven. away that because, yeah. because then the transmitter is very, very close to the earpiece and yeah. you can do all sorts of different things that might be affected by a transmission from a, from a base station some way away, but certainly won't be from that. Brilliant. I mean, that's covered all the points I wanted to, to look at. Is there anything else you wanted to mention? Yeah, um, there's a few accessories that we haven't talked about. Yeah. You know, we've talked about transmitter accessories um, and there's a few little bit of things to, to, to sort of finish off the, the, the Roger range. You know, we have talked about a couple of these in, in, in previous videos. Yeah. Batteries, obviously, something that's very important to have plenty of those around. Um, they come in packs of six, you know, it's worth having a box of those about because new battery every day, we know that is a good idea. And it's crucial to make sure it is the Phonak. Yeah, I will repeat again, the Phonak battery, uh, it, it's not just a promotion of trying to push expensive Phonak batteries because actually they're about the same price as everybody else's yeah. batteries, but for some reason they last a lot longer, um, quite considerably longer. We're not talking about 10%, 20%, yeah. we're talking, you know, three, four times the, 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 uh, the, 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 the run time by using a Phonak battery. So yeah. really important to do that. And I know it's tempting, you know, you've got if you've some got other some. batteries on site, you know, from other you know, leading brands, but Phonak battery is the only way to go. Um, there's then, uh, there's, a, there's a very nice little neat cleaning spray, which um, I'm not too sure of the, the content of it. I'm sure it's perfectly safe to, <laughs> to use in your ears, but uh, it, you know, once again, it, it's, uh, it's a Vonak branded product, so it can give confidence to the talent that you're using the, yeah. the correct materials to look after the earpiece to make sure it's nice and clean to go in their ear, you know, so that, that can be useful. And then the soft wraps we talked about before um, to uh, increase the comfort of, of using the earpiece. Yeah, I and mean, we have a look at how to fit the soft wraps in, in one of the previous videos. So if you wanted to have a look at that, maybe drop by and, and, and look over that. We yep. go quickly through how to fit them because it's not just round the end, is it? It's, it's in, a, in a spiral up the earpiece. 
It is, yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's a good thing. And, you know, to finish off really, one of the most important things for using with a, yeah. with a Roger, uh, the earbuds so that you can give your, give your user's ear a little bit of a clean yeah. before, uh, before using it. Makes a big uh, makes a big difference to the maintenance that you might have to do yeah. on the on the unit. I mean, we, we touched on that that wax can be quite an important factor in in running an, an earpiece. So if you can yeah. sort of preempt it, that'd be brilliant. Yeah, perfect. A lot of these products, you know, the, 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 you know, there's maybe other questions that everybody's got, and the number one thing with any kind of product like this, if you've not used it before, you know, the proof of the pudding is is in the eating. Yeah, and we want to get these things put in the ears of everybody who's not experienced it to see what it's really like. Yeah. Um, Phonak are supporting us as, as Raycom and uh, they're offering uh, anybody that really wants to try this unit, there are demo kits available. Yeah. So either, you know, I or, or one of my colleagues will, will come along and, uh, and, and help you and talk you through it and, and allow people to give it a use. Or we'll, you know, we can, we can send you a demo kit and yeah. um, let you play for a couple of days by yourself. I mean, that, that's the real way to get the, the, oh, gotcha. the feel of the, the benefit of of using uh, yeah, a virtually invisible and very easy to wear yes. IFB. Oh. They're a brilliant bit of kit and we'd love for more people to be, to be using them. That's covered everything we wanted to talk about. Thanks for your help, Andy. If there's any other information you want, feel free to drop us a message. We'll put the details on screen and to arrange one of those demos as well, because it'd be really good to have a look at the product. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.